Hello guys, welcome back to another Let's Play video, and in today's video, I realised that you can place these small drip leaves on moss. I didn't actually figure that out, so now I'm doing it, and here are the bone mills, and let's bone mill them, and they become big drip leaves. But what I, what I want to know how is, like, how do you get, like, the spore blossoms and stuff? Because they're actually, like, in the version of Minecraft I'm playing, so... I assume it'd have something to do with drip leaves or something else or like do you have to place moss on the ceiling or something and bone meal it there? Well I don't really know but honestly I should search up how to get it because most of this stuff except for like skulk senses are obtainable in survival mode but just like really weird ways. Like wouldn't it be nice if skulk senses could be obtained like wandering trader. I've been like trying to find ways to challenge myself more in Minecraft now that I've completed everything and so I did switch it to hard mode but I was thinking maybe something we could do is switch it to like the classic GUI UI whatever um stuff like um classic the classic one. Oh, this is weird uh this is not normal okay uh like the hot bar, no, I mean like the health bar and stuff that's down there. And look at this, it follows my cursor and stuff. And like, it's so much smaller in my inventory. This is weird. I don't think I want to do this. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess um, I might turn that off. It's not really what I want to. I mean, maybe some other time, but okay, yeah, this is much better. Wait a second. Like, is that what it did? It moves it down there. I mean, maybe we could use it. Like, I remember when I found this, I was quite amazed, like, a couple of years ago. I thought it was such a cool feature that we could act on Bedrock Edition. You could c craft properly using, like, the... Honestly, can you, like, on the normal GUI, can you, like, craft stuff like that? I don't actually think you can, so, yeah, but. I've also been, like, on a mission to fix up and stuff, uh, stuff around here, and I decided to get rid of the farm that was right here, because it was just a bit of a waste of space, and I put that there. Hopefully you don't spawn there, but let's get rid of these, trample them. I think it looks, it'll look much better. I mean, we have enough farming area anyways, this doesn't really matter anyways. What I want to do is almost like build a trampoline right here. I want it to be 8 by 8 by 8. So, <clears throat> it's going to be like a massive slime block in the ground. And slime blocks are slightly transparent, so I'm like thinking of what I can do to make it sort of look solid. I might place like blocks on the inside. Oh, it's such a nice day up here on my platform around at the view even though my render distance is pretty bad so I can't have the view oh no I fell off the thing oh well that doesn't matter I have this giant slime block here a trampoline as you can see I've finished my trampoline it works really well it's just a massive slime block in the inside I put stone but there it's my sister's trampoline and it's pretty small and I really want to get rid of this thing. It's my sister's ugly um, school. She calls it. She was just playing here by herself. Um, she pretended that plant is her tea. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like Ali has died over there. Uh, it's fine. She'll get her stuff. <laughs> oh, well, that happened. But this is pretty much done here. And now I'm patching up these holes, and I was thinking, should I get rid of the mob farm? But now we're on hard difficulty, um, it's producing a lot of gunpowder, and I don't really know what I should do. I mean, no one really gets to this video, part of the video anyway, so you won't really be seeing this. Because, I mean, people just click the first second and then leave a nice comment, and then um, they just ask for me to subscribe to them. And I mean, that's all they really want. And they don't really, uh, yeah, actually care. 
and to get this far. And now get rid of this last bit here. And then that's done. And now my sister will show you her ladder here. That was last. Now I'm gonna punch at her. Boom! 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 Oh. <coughs> okay. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I'd actually kill her. So um. Yeah, that happened. But hidden here, this is my new wheat farm I'm working on. And let's go pick up all the wheat. It's for trading with villagers. And now we just replant it back like this. And um, we can now have enough seeds to plant it on this side, which is good. And there's light there in the middle for these plants. So it's all going pretty good. It looks pretty cool too. Okay, and now I want to sort of like extend off to where I'm going to build a sheep farm, which is what I want next. And I'm bringing Jimmy with me to build this. And you know, I'll just chuck all that stuff in there for now. So we will be build a sheep farm soon but uh i'll just like build that in a couple of episodes i'll just get dig out the area where i'm going to do it so see you then and here it is all finished all um well it's all just dirt now hopefully the grass will grow in soon and then it'll be looking pretty good i found this area while mapping the last ep episode and it's like a shattered savannah and it's pretty cool and it's got a pillager outpost next to it and i've never actually seen one in this world we can like situate a base here which would be pretty nice so maybe that's what we can do soon but this pillager outpost i'm gonna raid it soon but there's just a few stuff i want to do beforehand and so let's fly off we will get it soon but it's probably a bit hard to do right now so we will go off and do that thing i want to do the other day, I tried speed running my Let's Play seed, and I actually got to the part when I needed to go to the stronghold. And instead, the um, Eyes of Ender led me to this village here, and so I'm going to dig down to get to the stronghold here, because I know there is one here. And this is like right next to the other stronghold, so it's quite crazy how they spawn quite close, but I know like even like the nether the end portals i mean can spawn like right next to each other so let's go down and hopefully find the end portal the thing that ended that run was i couldn't actually find it it was pretty hard and at the end it was taking me so long that the run was pretty much dead by then so um it was already like a 40 minute run anyways so i wasn't trying to go for a set seed world record or anything i was just trying to challenge myself but honestly like if I tried, I could probably beat Minecraft in like an hour. Because I've done like two hours before, so maybe it's not too hard. And here, we've entered the stronghold. And this was around the same place I entered it last time. And there's a glow, a floating glow lichen. Yeah, this stronghold has many floating glow lichens, from what I can remember. And yes, exactly. That's pretty much the same thing, but I'll go search for the end portal now. Oh, a library. Hey, at least I get some books for my enchanting soon. Now I'm working on getting the best enchantments on my netherite armor. So I'm talking about protection and I've already started. My leggings are going good and it's time to continue. What if I can combine my new boots with my old ones? Wait, what? Too expensive? Oh, I hate too expensive. Like, I have an infinite amount of XP. It can't really b bother me, but I'm going to go research why it happens. Seeing as I'm going to research, I'll show you, like, my routine when I leave the world. So I basically exit like this. And then I go into my world, edit the world, and then I go down to copy world. I copy it. This is the backup just in case. And then I go to my old backup and delete it because I don't really need it anymore. I should honestly probably make two backups at a time. But that would take a lot of storage. 
always already takes me a lot now, but I'll go back to enchanting soon. I am really mad. I was enchanting all my stuff. My boots are decent. My leggings are pretty good. And this hat here, it's stuck on thorns too. And now it's too expensive. And now I know why it happened. So I'm going to try and... It's fine for now. I'll go try and edit it soon. And this is the painstaking process I had to go through over and over again to get um this armor. And now I'm going to work on my chest plate, which I keep in here because I don't really use it, but we will use it for like stuff like the wither fight and raids, maybe. Honestly, I'm just going to redo my head and like boots and stuff. But like, I really think this like feature is kind of really broken and the too expensive stuff. I hope they fix that soon because it just doesn't really make too much sense. And it's really annoying because you have to just restart it all over again. And you spend so much levels, so yeah, it's really annoying, and I hope they fix that. Oh my god, an extra hour's worth just to get Thorns 3 from Thorns 2. We had to reset it and then get all the enchantments back on it, and this year, I've got everyone, everything I want in it, and it's doing good. Okay, I think it's pretty much impossible to get my boots to um have the extra stuff on it. It took me two hours. And I failed, and so that's really annoying. So I'm just going to accept what I have right now, and I'm going to go over and finish off this raid, the Endless Raid. Let's go stop this Endless Raid once and for all. And I wonder if it's going to have as much waves as a hard mode raid, because like, I, set, I did this raid first on easy mode. And now it's stuck on hard mode, so I guess we're going to see. And then after that, let's do another raid to get Totems of Undying. I just want to see how hard the next raid is going to be. I want to get this one done quickly. So, and hopefully see some of Vokers or whatever you call them. The Yeah, those guys, and hopefully they spawn a Vex. Because I feel like there might be like an enchantment to kill all mobs. And I haven't killed Vexes yet in proper survival mode. I might have actually in the Woodland Mansion, but I don't think I actually did. And nor did I in the other raids, so I guess we're going to be doing it for the first time, hopefully soon. Yeah, I see someone trying to run over there. Oh no, he's killing a villager. i got to get him. He's burning, hopefully he dies from the burning. And no, he doesn't, so I'm going to have to finish him off. Sorry, you can't hide, buddy. I'm going to kill you. Whoops, that was pretty bad. Oh, and now he's coming after me. Yeah, the trident does literally nothing, I don't think. Oh, I'm scared of the Ravager because I feel like it's just going to, like, smash me and do, um, five hearts of damage. Oh, God, look at him, like, destroying stuff in its path. Oh, it can destroy leaves. I forgot about that. Well, this seems pretty easy. Oh. Two more in this wave. Now one more. I see him over there, and let's hit him once, and then hit him again. Oh, just hit him off with our sword. We get a lot of emeralds. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it must have been on like the easy mode, but we can still do another raid now. And now we infiltrate the outpost, which is right here, next to the shattered savanna, and let's do it. Yeah, this shattered savanna would be a really cool place to build a base, but. That is for another episode, so let's go on and get rid of all these pillagers here. And then let's infiltrate the base now. Okay, let's jump in, and here is the raid captain, or whatever you call them. Oh, and we got it, so let's head off. Then I started to make my way over to the sand village, and I was ready to fight the raid. And I thought it would be a better place to um, fight it, because we could actually see through the trees and... There were no trees, actually, so easy. Oh, and the raid started. Okay, let's go up to the top of this tower, because it might be, like, a good spot to view everything happen. There's probably a chest up here, but I've probably already looted it. So let's, let's check. Okay, and now we kill the first few pillagers. This first bit is easy, because they do literally no damage at all to me. And let's kill the last one now. And here the last one is. And the next batch of pillagers are here, and we can get through them pretty easily. 
It's also Vindicators, and I can see my Thorn's armor working on them. It's killing them. What is going on here? There have been two wars waging on here. One, me versus the um, Illagers, and then also, we also have um, the cats. They've been, like, killing all the rabbits while I've been fighting these guys. <laughs> and, like, that's why you can probably see a lot of dead rabbits everywhere. Because these cats are a bit savage. I guess. Okay, and now let's get in and kill this dude. And I'm getting a bunch of loot from it, but I don't really need it. Iron armor is useless for me now at this stage. All I care about is netherite armor, and even then I've got really good netherite armor, so there couldn't really be that much gear that is better than mine right now. So let's kill this. Let's just dump all our really bad loot that we do not need in here. That efficiency book, I could use that on my um, pickaxe my fortune pickaxe so that might be a good thing to do because then i can dig fast with my fortune pickaxe too if i need cobblestone because it doesn't have silk touch so let's get on with this next raid if i can find it it took quite a long time to find the next raid so i did it off camera so i'll cut to that uh, these stupid witches they poisoned me and now i'm going to die i think oh god this might actually kill me if one of them can somehow get up here i might be safe for now Oh god, we are on half a heart. It's like the first time I've been to half a heart in quite a long time. So the the witches are like the one hard thing in this, but I will pick them off up here. Okay, let's get these last guys here up from the safe place. I don't think there are any more witches. Oh, and look, that launched them. Boink and boink. Oh, that killed them. Okay, these guys are going to be dead in a second and then... Let's get on with the next part of the raid, but we first we need to go down, get their loot and XP and stuff. Dude, let's mend all this. Okay, let's check where this next um raid is coming from. This next wave, I mean. And so, I don't see it. Oh, here they are. Oh, and it's got two ravages and one's being mounted. Oh, and look at all those guys being flung up in the air and stuff. Let's kill this dude. And, okay, this iron golem is helping me shoot him. Whoa, that guy got some air on that throw. The first evoker evoking fear into the heart of these villagers in this raid. And he's a piece of cake. I see some more pillagers, vindicators, and evokers over there. And I'm not sure how I'm going to play this out. Last one, we're getting quite a few totems of undying, I think. Which will be nice to have. Oh, and there's another one. So we can not really die at m that much. It's going to be pretty much impossible to kill us once we have all these totems of undying. And I'm trying to get rid of all these guys, but there's witches over there, so we don't want to get hit by their poison effect when there's other powerful mobs, because they'll be able to finish us off easily. And they're dead, and let's get this Vindicator over here, who's literally doing nothing. They're pretty pathetic pillagers, honestly. They just fail quite a lot. Oh, and there are these guys back. Let's try and aim them at them. And there are some witches over there. And, oh god, that's an evoker right in that. That would be quite a tough fight. But I want to get rid of these witches, too. And we hit the evoker. Nice. Let's get this Vindicator, I think. Yeah, it's a Vindicator. It's one of the last ones. I see another Vindicator over there. Oh, and he dropped some emeralds. That's good. We're getting a lot of emeralds from these and totems of undying. And also saddles, which are all really good loot. So raids are definitely worth doing.
And here's this Vindicator. Let's get him. I think this might be the last one. Oh, yes, it is. And that Iron Golem really helped out. He was getting all rid of these guys. And that calls for the end of the video. And that was a pretty... We got a lot of stuff done. And I felt like I didn't actually get quite a lot done. But I didn't. Let's go up here and then, like, fall onto the slime cube, hopefully, I guess. Let's see if we can hit it right. I think it's a bit over here. Yeah, let's go down. Maybe we can, like, just dive onto it. Yeah, it's all the way over here. We went way too far away. Okay, no, that's fine. In the next episode, I've got some good stuff in store. Whoa, and we got some air on that. And now, let's land in the tower carefully. Oh, I hit my head. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time in the next Let's Play episode. But I have, like, a new series in mind I want to do. But I never really get that motivated to do extra series. But I guess we'll see where it goes. And if the series ends, well, that'll be pretty typical of me.